people in Orange County, just in, in our their own way, I feel like just went way fucking harder, dude. What began in the late 1970s as a DIY remedy to curb suburban boredom. We knew maybe two or three other people who even knew what punk rock was. There was basically us and the middle class. Would over the years evolve into something much more prolific. I think Orange County had their own type of sound more than LA. A new sound and style emerged. The Agent Orange adolescence, the yeah. DI sound, social distortion. <laughs> It got bad to the point where people didn't want to go anymore. It got stupid violent. That's why the crowd started dwindling. Punk went underground kind of for a while and, and took a back seat. And, and music was just dead for, for several, several years. I've been writing the song, no one's singing along. Oh, like it was the kind of thing that it was every day, all day long on MTV, where like you go, oh, this is something that's actually could be big. There was a big signing run. Everybody was getting signed. You know, 94 to 2006, we're a full-time band, and that's all we do. Today, there are young kids. Anyone that's like, oh, dude, it's not the same. Oh, dude, better to Fuck that, dude. They're, right tonight, there's a backyard in East LA exploding with five 15-year-old kid bands fucking losing their minds, dude. You know, punk's gonna be all right, dude. It's, it's not gonna end, dude. It's not gonna end.